Let's see how fast I could do this. The nut usually would be on the jack, but there's a hex cutout on one side of the hole. Push the jack through, twist on the nut. Put your 3D printed connector on the PSU. Shove it onto the console connector. Jack on the left. Push the bottom back edge into the console. Pull down the clip, push it back up in there, done. So yeah, this thing, wow, it's been coming for a while. And we had, oh my, at least two proto other prototypes in clear resin. Now you can see that looks pretty good, but it does not compare to the Plexi. The Plexi is so much more clear, uh, repeatable, um, and honestly probably cheaper, faster, less waste. Uh, I believe this was the one that uh, I tweeted about a long time ago, and I, I think I uh, replied to Voltar on one, because he's like, what's the point of this? I'm like, well, for one, we can do this, and he was interested in that, of course. But, you know, I mean, I get it. The PSUs are not for everyone, and there's plenty of arguments for and against, and I'm not the guy to make those arguments. Um, we need like a third party, somebody that uh, really, really knows PSUs, you know, and can say, yes, this is more efficient or produces less heat. Uh, one of the main reasons um, I was really pursuing this, though, was uh, the Dreamcast CNC shell. I had uh, sort of pursued these shells, CNC, DC. And one of the things that we needed was, you know, make it as small as possible and whatnot. And we'll just mount it in this little area and not have to worry about fitting in the original PSU. And there was other reasons, um, other shells on the market, but taking up less space was one of the big benefits of the Rexus PSUs being so much, so much smaller, but this was always like highest on my list of PSUs that I wanted to see. I know, I know. Um, what was the one that started the Saturn PSU? I think that's all it was called was Saturn PSU or something like that. Re no, ours is called Reset. Uh, but like Dreamcast and Sega Saturn, those are the PSUs that kind of started this. But I knew I wanted to get rid of that big wall wart in this little cavity in the back of the N64 and when I seen this I was like oh yeah but you know my main complaints about this were of course the lines because he tried to put in um, it's not curved but it's at an angle from you know the printing uh, bottom or whatever wherever the starts it's at an angle and it, it caused those lines across there I mean maybe they're not showing up on camera but there you go I was like, we got to get rid of those lines, and we're being mooned by the wrong side of the PSU. You know, we want to see the cool stuff. And I'm not even sure if the old version has the LED, and I believe the, the new plug-in version. Yeah, there's a big LED he added right there, and that's good and bad, I guess. It's, um, it's good because, for one, let me show you this. Okay, so this is uh, one of the recommended PSUs. It's the one I use uh, because I can get a hold of it, honestly. It's a Meanwell GS40A12-P1J. So it's a 12 volt, 3.34 amp output. Uh, accepts 100 to 240 volt AC. It's got the uh, normal mains cord type input uh, but the important thing was the tip size and polarity were right so when you plug this in you can see the LED comes on right away I'm not sure if I got light shining right down on all this I'm not sure if that's actually showing up 
Okay, see, it's coming on and off. So I don't think, th this is the uh, one of the main problems that, I don't know, one out of ten customers will email me right away saying, oh, it didn't work, there's no power. Well, you got to make sure it's plugged in all the way, but because um, this PSU kit is also designed to work in the original black shell housing that plugs in here, you can replace the internals with this. There is a 3D printed part that comes with this. Uh, don't have it in front of me, but that sits inside of some of those. And the plastic is so thick that this jack had to be extra deep. And sometimes it just doesn't make contact. Uh, obviously, this one's not having much trouble, but I mean, I'm going in that far, and I've only got, geez, only a couple millimeters left. But you can trim back some of the plastic right here. You know, it only takes a couple millimeters, and I, I have had, I mean, even just like this week, I think I even had somebody say that there was wasn't working. So if that LED light is not on, then it's most likely this is not getting in far enough, or it's not connected there. You know, I don't. Let's see. Let's do a little experiment here. I'm kind of guessing the LED still lights even if it's not plugged into the console yes so that doesn't make a difference this was the uh, the one of the one of the major steps for the re-n64 PSU was getting this figured out I wanted this badly because the old kit you had to use the connector out of the you know the wall wart and kind of wire it in and it, you know that tripped up a lot of people and we had to write up a big guide about it and everything but this man anybody can do this I mean you see me do it at the intro it took it took seconds and it was done but uh, getting back to the clear resin print this was prototype number two this was um, this can I think um, I don't, I don't, maybe this version got sent to Bob at Retro RGB, and he was like, "You want me to, you know, post this and everything?" I was like, "Well, come to think of it, we might try to make it clip in to where it just sits in there, and you just kind of pull it down and clip it in." And so that's been on hold, and I finally got this prototype. I think this has been a month or so ago. So, you know, going from this to plexiglass happened pretty fast, and I'm very impressed with Space Pirate Prince for doing that. Uh, but this one, I just, I just see too many imperfections in the clear resin, and I have a lot of experience with this because the GBA consoleizer tops uh, for Rev3, you know, the latest GBA style case had a, had a clear resin printed top, and we had lots of... Um, warped ones and lots of bubbles you know and just imperfections that we just could not get rid of and you know we just basically had to sell the best that we could find you know out of what was printed so I looked at this and I thought you know overall that's just a rectangle and I just kept looking thinking can't we just do stack of plexi and that finally got Space Pirate to just throw his hands up and say, I'm buying a laser. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Yes, please do a laser. Now that I look at it, I'm not real sure this very outside piece of plexi is totally necessary. I definitely could get my fingers on just, just the outside part. So I, I think uh, from having the laser delivered to having this prototype I want to say it's been only been like a month it's been really quick one of the complaints that I had with the clear resin print was how sloppy it sat in there once it was in place um, even thought about having a piece uh, even if it was just one one um, one lasered out piece that you actually had to undo the screws of the case and separate enough to get this down in there and nothing moved and then it would be even more clear like you can get rid of all the spring pockets and the 
the clip piece and everything. But these are so cheap, I just don't know. I guess the only benefit would be it would be more cheap, but it would be a lot faster just to cut a single a single layer part. But man, you can't deny it. that's I can see through almost everything. So there's what five of these studs that he found that actually um, keep all the sandwiched plexi together. I believe there's glue on the studs. I'm not real sure. I believe the studs are also also plexi. I think I'll uh, end the video here. Not much more to say. I'm very interested to hear everybody else's opinions and comments on this. Been a long time coming. I'm glad to finally have it available. I will get uh, a pre-order for now uh, sale page up and I will add it to the Rian 64 sale page as well. Um, do I, at this time for the video, I can't say cost or um, how long it's going to take, but I think these went together fairly quickly. So we should be able to put together pre-order sales fairly fairly fast and, and um, like I've been telling all the customers so far if you already have the PSU we will be selling just the rear cover separately well, let me know what you think thanks